Hello, my awesome Aries. I missed you guys. Aries, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life, and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, this one clearly wants to pop up. Oh, two of them. Okay, two extra messages. Very important. You're very disappointed in your soulmate. Yeah, you don't trust them emotionally. As a matter of fact, you want to tell them off some more. But you're holding back on communicating. You're very guarded with your heart. So this person betrayed your trust in a major way. Whether they put your life on hold or misinformed you or didn't offer a commitment or had somebody else, they betrayed your trust. Yeah, you see, you're holding back. You really want to reach out and tell them off. Tell them how disgusted and disappointed you are with them and their behavior. Oh my goodness. You have a lot to look forward to, Aries. Yes, stay away from people who make you feel like you don't matter. People who are negative, people who are toxic, people who don't communicate effectively, who put your life on hold, who are nosy, who gossip. People like that do not belong in your life because they lower your vibration. They, they make you feel like you're doubting yourself. Okay, you don't have a reason to doubt yourself. This is beautiful energy. This is your own beautiful energy. This is you succeeding, letting go of toxic people, situations, connections, relationships. You have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, stay away from negativity. Oh my gosh, they feel a lot of guilt. Yeah, wow. You guys had some serious fights, disagreements. This is both negative. So... This person is surrounded by toxic people. They used to toxic behavior, toxic relationships. You're not going to put up with that kind of behavior because you're not toxic. Yeah. They feel a lot of guilt. So the good thing is they realize how badly they messed up. They fault themselves for losing you. Universe, please show us what's coming up. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Leo, Leo popping up here. Virgo. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, so you know, you, you feel in your soul, in your spirit, in your heart that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. You can no longer participate in this connection when they don't meet you halfway yeah don't reciprocate again a lot of you are dealing with the leo and taurus popping up now yeah you felt so unappreciated unloved taken for granted disrespected by this person you've been waiting but not putting your life on hold you've been waiting to see what they're gonna do Ooh. A lot of people betrayed your trust. A lot of people hurt you. A lot of people um, disowned you. People that you trusted, including toxic relatives, fake friends, coworkers, neighbors, you name it. This is you letting go of all toxicity, forgiving and releasing, moving on with your life. Yeah. Mm. You endured a lot of heartbreak because of other people's selfishness. The person that you're letting go of uh, hmm, wants to come back to you, but they're very slow to action. They are so slow. It's painful. 
Yeah, they so slow. And they have history of being very immature in relationships, not consistent, not reliable, not grounded, not dependable, and more. Because they only showing up as a knight. You know that there's no reason for you to reach out to this person. Yeah, they caused you a lot of heartbreak. One, two, three. Yeah, they caused you a lot of heartbreak. Yeah. You are very intuitive, very psychic. So it's very important when you hold such high vibration energy and uh, an empath that you surround yourself with only positive people. Yeah, people who don't gossip, who are not nosy, who are not negative. Yeah, it's very important that you hold your standards high. Be careful who you call your friends, uh, who you spend your personal time with, who you invite over your residence. Yeah. Yes, there you go. This is truly you, Aries. High vibration, a catch in relationships with high standards. Continue holding on to those high standards. Never lower your standards for anyone, okay? People of low vibration do not belong in your life because they will drag you down to that level. Yeah. Continue holding on to those high, beautiful standards of yours, your beautiful energy. Don't let anybody drag you down to that level. Yeah. Oh my God. Let me see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? You don't trust them at all. No. So it looks like you gave this person plenty of opportunities to prove themselves to you and um, they failed each and every time. You don't trust them. No. Mm -mm. You're protecting your heart. You're ready to tell them off again if they approach you. Yeah, you've been very patient with this person and this connection. You've been extremely patient. Yeah, you don't trust them at all. No. Because of their behavior towards you. Yeah, they caused you a lot of grief. So there are some more other people in your life that are chaotic, that want to come back to you. You just have to be very careful. Have healthy boundaries for people to respect. If people can't respect your healthy boundaries and coming to you with more drama, more chaos, nosy, gossiping, negative, they don't belong in your life. Yeah. This is you letting go of all that pain, releasing, forgiving, moving on with your life in a positive direction. Yeah. People cause you a lot of grief and heartbreak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My goodness. You are so strong, Aries. Look how strong. Recognize how strong and resilient you truly are. And you are moving on in a positive direction from all that negativity that you don't want to keep in your life. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with that person of yours that you're letting go of. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? I'm scared to see, but let's be brave. Yeah, so there you go. This is not shocking to see. In position one, page of swords, the least reliable energy to describe a person in uh, relationships, especially romantic relationships, close relationships, emotional relationships. So this person has this pattern of behavior of being inconsistent, not communicating effectively, not listening, not expressing emotions, being in and out of people's lives, being wishy-washy in behavior. This is not a good sign. They're used to this kind of behavior. So it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for them to break this pattern because they're so used to this pattern. It's been... Uh, with them for so long. They're used to it. It's their behavioral pattern. They view us very intuitive, wise, um, and you are. Uh, they know they can't just come back with more of the same drama. You're not going to allow it. Yeah. They are silent. They don't like to initiate communication. They don't like to express emotions. They don't like to show emotional vulnerability. 
Oh my God. This person has a lot of self-created drama in their life. They first and foremost need to figure out what it is they truly want from their life before they can offer a relationship that is balanced, healthy, reciprocal, stable. For the second time, they're showing up as Knight of Pentacles. They're very slow to action, extremely slow. So it's very important that you don't hold your breath because you're not going to survive. You need to. If you truly want to give this person another chance, which it looks like you don't because you see the same patterns of behavior, okay? And they still are toxic. They're still the same. They like to blame others for their drama. Yeah, they don't take accountability for their mistakes, errors in life, which means they don't learn from them, which means what? They keep repeating the same errors and mistakes. The good thing is that they see clearly what a mess they are and what they need to fix. The question is, will they fix it? And how will they go about it? Because for them to be this uh, be, uh, toxic for so long with this kind of behavioral pattern, it's going to take a lot of inner work as well as time for them to change their behavior, to be healthy in a relationship, to be balanced, to be reliable, consistent, grounded, and all that good stuff that they need to be. What concerns me is that they're showing up as a knight and a page, not a king or queen energy. Um, yes, they see what a mess they are and what they need to fix. They just need to do it. They can't just show up with a uh, half-ass apology and tell you, um, oh, I'm sorry, I miss you, bring your gift and think that's acceptable. That's not acceptable. They're going to have to prove themselves to you through consistent actions and behavior. That's not good. Because even though this means messages, it's reversed. So this person does not know how to communicate effectively, how to be consistent, how to be reliable. This is not a good sign at all. Yeah, And they know that they have issues with communication in relationships, not just romantic relationships. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? I feel I need to shuffle more. You must please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time. They have a lot of drama in their life that you're not aware of. Yeah, there's a lot going on, much more than you're aware of. Look, they know they are at fault. You see, this is them wanting to apologize to you. Wanting to make amends with you. This means gifts, apologies, peace offerings, explanations. Look how empty they feel without you. Sad, alone. Like their life has no meaning without you. No, this is not good. Look at this hot mess over here. Five of once, twice. That's not good. This person needs to figure out what it is they want from life. They have no clue what they want and they don't take accountability for their mistakes in life, which is not a good sign. They like to blame others. So they're going to blame me, YouTube, Vimeo, you, whoever they can. So they don't have to distract themselves um, too much and look at themselves more objectively. Yeah. Mm. They don't like to look at themselves and the drama they created in their life. They want to communicate with you, but they're so scared you're going to reject them because they know you have valid reasons to reject them. They love you a lot. I can't deny that fact. So there's one single positive thing that is showing up from this person towards you is how much they love you. Everything else is chaotic, dramatic. They love you a lot. Yes, they do. They have to lose you to realize how much you mean to them. They took you for granted. Yeah, they view you as marriage material, attractive, independent, taking your power back, not putting up with the uh, games anymore. Oh my gosh, you had to let them go for them to wake up. Yeah, the tower moment, you had to let them go. That was the right thing for you to do. Somebody new entering your life. This person is so concerned that somebody else is going to enter your life. And they are correct. Uh, whether this person takes action towards you or not, 
you're still gonna be meeting new soulmates. You see this? Yeah, this is you meeting new people of value. Yes, this is you not putting your life on hold anymore, not giving yourself false hopes that some miracle will occur and they'll change. It, there's no miracles here. The only way miracle will occur is, is if they do uh, something solid where they take action and change their behavior and are consistent in their behavior. They can't just give you empty words and think you're going to believe it because you won't. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. Wow. See, they know that they misjudge the situation that they um, did wrong by you. Yeah, so that's a good start. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. The good thing is they recognize that they messed up. The question is, what will they do about this? Yeah, you see, they view you as marriage material, someone of value. Oh, boy. Yeah, they know they messed up, you see. This is how much work they put into this relationship, and this is how much work you put into this relationship. Do you see the difference? It became so unbalanced. It became toxic. You had to let them go. They drained your energy. They didn't mean to, but the point is they did. Yeah, you see, they know. They didn't reciprocate, didn't meet you halfway. This new soulmate that you're meeting, it's actually more than one person. The new soulmates that you're meeting will be able to reciprocate, meet you halfway, communicate, yeah, this is what you need because you are stable. You are marriage material, okay? You are grounded, reliable, consistent. You deserve energy like that in your life from your partner, right? You cannot be in a toxic relationship. That's not going to work for you because you're not toxic. We're going to go into your extended reading, Aries. We're going to go and ask about this person, but also the new soulmates that are entering your life. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.